in this question we have set A containing elements 1, 2, 3 and 4, set B containing elements 3, 4, 5 and 6, set C has elements 5, 6, 7 and 8 and set D has elements 7, 8, 9 and 10. With this information we have to find the value of given operations. Let us try to find the value of each section one by one. In the first section we need to find A union B. We know that it is nothing but a set containing all the elements that are present either in A or in B. So this is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. In the second section we have A union C. Again this is nothing but a set containing all the elements that are either in A or in C. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. In the third section we need to find B union C. That is the elements that are present either in B or in C. So this is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. In our next section we have to find B union D. That is the set containing all the elements that are either present in B or in D. This is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Next we need to find A union B union C. That is a set that contains all the elements that are present either in A or in B or in C. This is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Next we need to find A union B union D. Again this means the set of all the elements that are present either in A or in B or in D. So this is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And finally we need to find B union C union D. This will be a set that contain all the elements that are either present in B or in C or in D. So this is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this completes our solution.